Hello and welcome to all of our Gold Learning viewers. I'm Fiona Lang Sharp, IBCLC, Director of Communications and MC for Gold Learning. Well, welcome everyone. I have the pleasure of sitting down today with Brian Russell, and he is going to be speaking at our upcoming Gold Perinatal Online Conference 2017. Uh, that starts on October 2nd. Brian is going to be speaking to the father factor, exploring the influence of men have on the healthy development of children. Well, welcome, Brian. It's great to have you here today. Hi, Fiona. Thanks for taking the time. Oh, no, it's uh, our pleasure, and I can't wait to hear more. Uh, just looking at your slide here, it's so inviting, Brian, and look at all those great photos there. And, of course, uh, I've had a sneak peek already at your presentation, and I can't wait for our viewers to uh, actually see the full presentation. But today is a little bit about Brian, and we want to hear more from you. So why don't you go ahead, introduce yourself to our audience, and tell them a little bit about what you do on a day-to-day -day basis. Sure. Yeah. Um, so I, I am the provincial coordinator of Dad Central Ontario, which is an organization within the province of Ontario in Canada that uh, works with folks that work with families. And our, our focus is on building a network across the province uh, around engaging dads. So we do a lot of training for folks around uh, just what engaging dads looks like, and why, this, why this is an important thing. Uh, we develop a lot of resources. So we've got uh, toolkits for people to use. We have uh, literacy bookmarks that, that you can hand out to dads. We've got a whole bunch of booklets, uh, different things like that, that, that people can use to engage dads. Um, but we really want people to understand the importance of, of a dad's involvement in his child's life right from conception on. It's, uh, it's something that, that's such a key thing for child development. And so we want to be supporting that. We want to be uh, raising the awareness of the value of dads. We want to be uh, encouraging dads in their role as well and and, and just uh, letting dads know that they they really do matter and and mm -hmm. their kids need them in their lives so that's primarily what I do uh, I also have a small marriage and family therapy practice and um, I'm married I've got three three daughters of my own too so oh wonderful that's, a little bit, that's me that's awesome. Well, I, now, I, now I've got more questions for you. I knew this was going to happen. <laughs> I, you know, it, it really is so exciting. I'm looking at um, all your pictures there and the diversity of pictures and immediately that's what came to mind that a lot of the dads that, you know, we work with today come from different backgrounds and, you know, um, there's different diversity cultures and all those types of things. And I, it just struck me the importance of, um, you know, providing them a place to come and ask questions or just, you know, as the word says, you know, sort of influencing, you know, how they can participate in families. I guess this has been something that you've been addressing for a while. And so that's my first question. And, and I wanted to know, how long has this been going? Like, when did this all sort of come to fruition? How, how many years have you been in, in business here? Uh, Dad Central has been around since about the year 2000. So we're about mm -hmm. 17 years into it now. I've been working wow. with them for almost 10 years now. Wow. Yeah. And then and so for it's your... Really yeah, go ahead. It's really something that um, that we we know fathers need to uh, have needed some encouragement. They've needed a voice. Uh, they've needed a place to talk about parenting and to be able to connect on on what their role is as a as a father and, and how they influence their sure. kids. And so we want to be creating yeah. that kind of community for dads too. Excellent, excellent. Um, so I, the second part of that question was talking about the different backgrounds of fathers, because of course most countries today we're seeing lots of uh, immigrants coming in too. Has, has that, is that something that has expanded as well recently as you've, uh, as you've had the father factor? Has it changed to the development of what you've been doing in your programming? Oh, it certainly is. It, it's the kind of thing we, we need to be very much aware of, that uh, parenting and fatherhood uh, is very much a cultural experience too, so it's it's very different for different people. Uh, but I think one thing we're finding, and this is one thing I'm going to address in in the presentation, is just how uh, we we seem to we, we do see that there's commonalities across uh, across fatherhood that pretty well every dad would do for their kids. Things like right. communicate with their kids, things like be involved in their lives, those kind of things. So we're we're going to be looking at those kind of things in the presentation. Oh, that's wonderful. So can you tell me a little, again, a little bit of a background for you, I guess, or tell me why, why was this important to you? Why did you end up in this area of practice? Uh, I guess I started to see 
in uh, some of the therapy that I was doing with people was that a lot of people were talking about their, their dads and, and issues about not having a dad involved or just how their dad was involved in their life as they were growing up and realizing uh, we need to be talking about fatherhood. Uh, we need to be connecting with men uh, and, and thinking through carefully why why fathers do play this important role and how can we be supporting them. And so it, it kind of came out of that that thinking that there's a bit of a gap in terms of uh, supporting men and yet seeing uh, seeing how significant men are for their children. And so just wanting to talk about that kind of thing and, and develop some resources and uh, and be networking so more people are, are, are connecting around engaging dads. And I guess, That's too, it's a very personal thing because when I started, my kids were two, four, and six. So I right. was trying trying to figure out for myself, what does this mean for me to be an involved dad? Too. Right. Right. And probably being a bit of an analyst of that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I can imagine that it led led the path, right? The path led the way for you. That's wonderful. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. So, well, before we wrap things up here, uh, Brian, perhaps you'd like to share what you're most excited or what, what's the big takeaway that you're hoping that people will get uh, from listening to this presentation? I'm always excited when I talk about uh, the pathway of attachment and bonding between dads and their kids. So it's a little different than I think we, we often traditionally think about what attachment looks like. Right. And so there's there's some neat research that's out there and some, some good things I think we'll be able to share to help us understand how men and kids connect and, and bond uh, over time. Well, that sounds very exciting. I mm -hmm. um, I love that word myself. And, you know, it of course, it's always great to hear what it's like on the other side. So I'll look forward to hearing you share some more of that. Well, thank you. It's been a very short time and I feel like I, I could ask many more questions, but I know that uh, we need to keep the time condensed today. And plus, I want our audience to come and listen to you. So I know the, the date that you're speaking on is going to be uh, Monday, October the 16th. However, I'll invite all of our audience right now to go to our website um, and it's goldperinatal.com. Check out uh, this great program that we've got coming up for you, uh, 2017. It starts on October 2nd. I can't wait for all of you to join us. And of course, thank you so much, Brian, for being with us here today. And obviously, I can't wait to uh, see you again very soon online. So thank you for sitting down and chatting with me today. Oh, my pleasure. Thank you, Fiona. And again, thank you to our listening audience for uh, dropping by today. It's been great having you, and I'll look forward to having you back again. Bye-bye for now, everyone.